Well, the Holton Pice and Howden MP David Davis is joining me now. Uh, Mr. Davis, good evening to you. What do you know of these plans to expand the hotel then uh, and the number of asylum seekers? What do you know? Well, the, the not enough, I think, is a straight answer. We found out uh, a day or so ago that they were, they were planning basically to expand it on site roughly double. They got about 70 odd at the moment, roughly double them. Uh, but we could find out no more from the Home Office. Indeed, I had to raise it in the chamber yesterday. What I don't uh, understand is you're a senior conservative. It's your mm. constituency. Do you feel that the Home Office have kept you in the dark over the, the, these North Ferriby plans all, all along the line? You seem to be the last person to find out. Well, it won't, it won't be the first time. I mean, you will remember uh, on the issue of the lawns when they're going to bring well over a thousand migrants to Cottingham at that point. Uh, I found out late. Uh, we weren't told until the last minute. Is that acceptable? Uh, no, it's not, and that's that's what I said in the chamber yesterday. That uh, this, you know, the Home Office, is, it's got a difficult job to do. Let's not kid ourselves, but it's accountable to the people, and it's accountable to the people through members of Parliament, and in this case, that's me. If so, these rumours are true of the numbers, uh, 78 to uh, 152 or whatever it is, if these rumours yeah. are true, are you happy about that? No, I mean, what what the reason we asked for details was very simply, okay, you, you, you can fit these people in by doubling up in rooms and so on, but then that puts greater pressure on the community. We need to know what they're doing in terms of uh, social welfare. You may remember, Peter, that when uh, we had 130 people in Thwaite Hall, no longer being used, but when we had 130 people in Thwaite Hall, in the first week, 30 Albanian young men simply disappeared. But uh, I, I, and I that thought, has really serious implications to the local community. I thought with the likes of Scampton and these other bases ar around the country that the government was trying to reduce hotel numbers. This is directly the opposite to that. What, your government seems to have lost control on this one now. Well, it is, it is trying to reduce them. I mean, bear in mind that we stopped the, the lawns operation, which was quite big. We, uh, Thwaite Hall is no longer being used. So, you know, Humberview, in my constituents, is the only one. But you've got the same problem, incidentally, happening in Hull as well. You've got a, uh, a hotel in Hull has been looking to double its numbers as well. So what's you, what you're seeing is the pressure of the non-stop in, uh, input of people coming in, in boats across the channel. But the, numbers, uh, the number of on boats has gone up again this month. Locals yeah. in many areas not happy yeah. at the accommodation schemes. It, it does yeah. feel that the government has lost control on this. Well, and, no, and you know what people in North Ferry be, are going to be saying tonight. Of course, of course. And they're struggling with it. That's why, I mean, you may remember at Christmas, I wrote the Prime Minister saying, Look, Look, Albania is a safe country. Uh, it's, no, it's not had a European court judgment against it for years, many years. Uh, we should simply turn Albanians back at the border. Now, they're beginning to incorporate that into the bill going to the House of Commons. But it's taking too long. I said they should have done it as emergency legislation. So, you know, it's, they, it's getting under control, but it's, it's too slow. And the, um, the effect of that is what we're seeing in Humber View. And, but, but even given that, the Home Office should be telling us what arrangements it's making. You've got a, basically another 70-odd young men going to be put in the community. What arrangements is doing on the social welfare front, on GPs, all the things where I don't want my constituents to suffer because you're looking after uh, extra illegal migrants. So that was, why the, that was why the argument in the Commons yesterday. David Davis, uh, good to have you on the programme tonight. Uh, thank you very much, Steve, for uh, giving the latest. Most grateful. Okay.